My name is Jean Wandimi. I'm a finance graduate from Kenyatta University and I'm also a food and wine writer. So my job involves eating and writing about it. Well, I went to find I, I did finance in school so that I would know how to launch a business because I'm an entrepreneur at heart. I love entrepreneurship. And my goal in three years is to have a company. So I went, I did finance to sort of learn, get a background on the financial aspect of my business. I started blogging um, two years ago, but I was doing it as a hobby. And I started, I made it a profession just a year ago. Yeah, so I've been blogging for two years. Everyone loves eating. I won't lie to you that I've come from a background of food and wine because I come from a staunch Christian background, like my father and my mother are staunch Christians. So there was never wine in the house. But when I went to campus, I started noticing that I have a palette for wine and I love trying out different things. I also love uh, trying out different, you know, spirits like vodkas and knowing about uh, mixology and making cocktails. But I, I noticed that I got more skewed towards wine and I also love eating out. I love trying out new restaurants and just uh, trying out different things in Kenya. So I decided to call my blog the Wine and Food Review because I would show people what I'm learning through writing. I think I'm a bubbly person. Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm really fun. I'm open to new experiences. So if um, I'm also very creative. I don't like being boxed in. I love being in a, a, in a situation where I'm free to explore options and just come up with ideas. And that's why I fit in this industry. One of the main challenges I faced in this wine blogging business is the fact that I'm, I'm like the only one who focuses, I'm the only blogger who focuses on wine. So it's really hard to relate to the market and you know Kenyans, we are like 15% of Kenyans are wine drinkers. So tapping into that small market has been hard for me, but over the years I've learned and I'm still learning. Paying for restaurants, you know, for you to ha have an objective review, you must go to a restaurant like twice, you must try their menu, and most of the times I'll have to finance myself. So that's one of the biggest challenges. But all the other challenges are negligible and I've learned to overcome them over the years. So the little challenges I meet along the way, I try to find a way to counter them, but that has been my biggest challenge. Meeting very reputable people in the wine industry, like all the luminaries in the wine field and the restaurant field, that has been an achievement to me because I was an introvert. I never knew like I would attend like a meeting where there are all these people in the wine field. So that has been one of the achievements. Another achievement is that I recently got a nomination for the Bloggers Association of Kenya Award. And that for me was big, you know, I didn't actually know that people submitted my blog. So, and I hope that I'll win and I'll talk to the Kenyan people to like vote for me. So those two are my greatest achievements so far, but I look forward to making other milestones and to growing my career. I once got someone who told me to like write for them an article. I won't mention the people, but in return for a box of chocolates. To me, that was an insult because I consider my work, okay, sometimes I don't have to be paid to do it, but that to me was an insult. I'd rather they would have told me to just do it for free, but write an article and like uh, market them for a box of chocolates. That was, was the craziest request I've had. <laughs> My greatest inspiration is to be a better person than who I was yesterday. I wake up at five every day on the hope that I'll better my yesterday and like do something different for that day. And I also uh, look to change like people's lives. I love impacting people in a positive way. So those two are my greatest inspiration. This place is so awesome. I love the graffiti on the walls. I'm a sucker for graffiti and I think Creative Garage is a place where creatives are being given a platform to express themselves and I think everyone should try it. Probably you should come for their chill out 
session on every Friday and I'm looking forward to coming so you never know what you'll find here it's full of surprises